you so much for coming today. My name is Heidi Kriba Redeker, and I'm an advisor for Barack Obama's Economic Policy Committee. It was almost four years ago when I had the great fortune to be in Boston on a night that changed my life and my daughter's life. We were living in London at the time, but we traveled to the Democratic Convention. And I remember exactly where I was when Barack Obama gave the keynote speech that night. So after almost two decades overseas, I heard him describe a country that I wanted my daughter to grow up in. And that night, I turned to my husband and I said, let's go back. Let's move back to the U.S. Let's raise our family in the country that Barack Obama described that night with so much conviction and with so much eloquence. Good decision! Good decision! <laughs> and so we moved back. Only the country that Barack Obama described that night wasn't exactly what we found when we got here. He spoke of a country of opportunities and of hope and a possibility, but instead we found a country where the American dream was slipping away from so many Americans. Right now, we've got some very real issues to tackle in this country and in this economy in particular. Issues that are squeezing working American families. We're still hoping that the American dream is not just a dream, but a reality. That's why Barack Obama has been a strong voice in calling for an economic stimulus package that will give help to those who need help right now. Now there are a lot of families here today. And as parents, we are all looking down the road together for the future of our children. Tony Blair used to speak about the importance of nourishing children's talent because talent is the 21st century's wealth. Well, Barack Obama believes that we all have a stake in nurturing that talent if we hope to prosper in the 21st century. Senator Obama knows that the dream cannot come in at the expense of the American family. His economic plan will especially help working mothers. He will double funding for after school programs. He will expand the Family Medical Leave Act and he will provide families credit for child care expenses and encourage flexible work schedules. And as mothers and as daughters we all know that it begins with education. And we know that half of low-income children start school up to two years behind their peers, and those early achievement gaps do not go away throughout their education. Barack Obama has been a champion of early education since his years in the Illinois legislature. And to help parents spend more time with their soon-to-be better educated kids, Barack Obama has proposed creating a program to educate business about the benefits of flexible work plans and to help them create flexible work opportunities. Barack Obama knows we have a responsibility to extend the American dream to future generations, but today college is out of reach for so many Americans. That's why he has a plan to provide tax credit to students, to simplify the financial aid application process so you don't need a PhD to get the aid you need to go to college in the first place. Barack Obama also knows that instead of campaigning on the fear of 47 million Americans without adequate health insurance, we need to actually do something about it. In Illinois, he brought Republicans and Democrats together. He stood up to the insurance industry and he brought health care to hundreds of thousands of people. As president, he will sign universal health care into law in his first term. His plan will lower a typical family's premiums by $2,500 a year. He has a plan to strengthen this nation's economy to promote tax fairness, and to reclaim the American dream. 
As president, he will implement a 21st century economic plan for the future, not the past. <laughs> to help ensure that America can compete in the global economy and ensure that the middle class can both grow and thrive. My daughter may only be four years old, but she understands how important it is to elect Barack Obama. Her favorite t-shirt says, my mom is for Obama. We all know Senator Obama personifies all that is great about this country. He has a personal story that could only be told in America. As a professional woman, as a wife, and especially as a mother, I urge you to vote for Barack Obama for president. Thank you.